Well, it's time to bring you all the day's top business news now. Kate Moody is with us in the studio. It's good to see you, Kate. Hi, Laura. And uh, we're starting in Europe, aren't we? Because Italy is on a collision course with the EU over its spending plans. Yes, yeah, this has been a long time coming, really. Uh, that budget proposal has been officially submitted to EU officials who need to approve it. But the blueprint breaks previous commitments to reduce spending and government debt. And Jean-Claude Juncker says that giving the green light could spark a backlash among EU member states. Owen Barnell reports. A new budget plan, and for Italy, just in time. Rome met the midnight deadline to submit its spending plan to Brussels after some last-minute debate, so its populist coalition thrash out the finer details. After much consideration, we are going to Brussels with a budget we are proud of and that we want to discuss without prejudice. We are convinced that austerity is a path that can no longer be taken. The draft budget looks to expand Italy's budget deficit for 2019 to 2.4 2 percent of GDP, flying in the face of the 0.8 percent target previously agreed upon by Italy's former government with the EU. Rome wants to lower the retirement age from 68 to 62 for certain workers, introduce a monthly basic income of 780 euros for unemployed Italians, and tax cuts for the self-employed. A goodbye to austerity. Yet Italy is already the holder of massive sovereign debt. At 130% of its GDP, it's one of the largest in the Eurozone, second only to Greece. Italy's new budget plans have caused a stir in Brussels, with both Italian and EU officials trading pot shots. Italian people understand things very well. They are aware that in the long term it is not possible to spend more than what you have. But if we would accept what the Italian government is proposing, we would have a violent reaction from the other countries of the Eurozone. EU officials are in a delicate position. Turning a blind eye could have consequences, yet rejecting the budget could give ammunition to Eurosceptics in the Italian government.